Did you know your Fire Stick has hidden potential that most people never unlock? Seriously, there's a secret code that lets you install an incredible app in just a few minutes. And once it's on your Fire Stick, it completely changes how you stream. This app gives you access to all your favorite movies and TV shows for free, and its library is bigger than Netflix. But that's not even the best part. It also includes live TV channels from around the world, all inside one app. That means movies, TV shows, sports, news, and more, all in one place, without jumping between apps or paying extra every month. And I'm not stopping there. In this video, I'll also introduce you to additional apps that unlock even more entertainment, including live TV, sports, pay-per-view events, and more on your Fire Stick. So stick with me for the next few minutes, follow along step by step, and I'll show you exactly how to get everything set up the right way. All right, guys, let's get started. And hey, if you're watching this but you don't own a Fire Stick yet, or you're still using a slow or outdated device, check the links in the description. I've listed the best streaming device deals I recommend, and honestly, even better than a Fire Stick. To get started, head to your home screen and find the magnifying glass icon. Press down, then click the central button on your remote. A keyboard will pop up, so type in Downloader. You'll see it appear in the suggestions list. Scroll down, highlight it, and click the middle button. This will take you to the bright orange app we need. Click the center button and you will be taken to the apps page. Click the center button one last time and it will begin to download. This might take a moment or two. A little patience is all it takes. As soon as it says launch now, press the home button on your remote. Next, we need to dive into your Amazon Fire Sticks settings to adjust one crucial option. The easiest way is to scroll all the way to the right on your main screen. A menu will appear at the bottom. Scroll down. We're looking for My Fire TV or My Device. No matter the name or location, that's the one we need to click. After you click, my screen might look a little different since I already have developer options enabled. If you don't see this on your screen, don't worry. Just go up and click About. Then, with your Fire Stick or Fire TV highlighted, click the center button. Nine times, a message will then appear that says, Congratulations, you are now a developer. Once you see that, hit the back button, and poof, developer options will now be right there in the menu. Okay, let's hit into developer options together. The very first thing you'll see is ADB debugging. Hit the center button once to turn it on. A small box might pop up. Just slide down and hit allow. Next, hit install unknown apps. You might see some apps here. Slide to downloader, then hit the center button once to turn it on. If you have an older Fire Stick, it might say apps from unknown sources and you can only turn it on or off. If you see that, just turn it on. Now that we're all set, hit the home button on your remote. Time to locate that newly installed downloader app. The best way to view all your apps is to scroll almost to the very end and click the icon with three squares and a plus sign. This shows every app you have. The newest ones always appear at the very bottom. Let's open downloader together. A small box might pop up. Just hit the center button to close it. This app lets you access almost any website. To do this, click the center button twice. A keyboard will appear, allowing you to enter the web address. I'm taking you to a special app store exclusively for my viewers and subscribers. I've worked hard to find the best and latest apps for this platform. All I ask for this effort for keeping the apps updated, creating this video, and answering your questions is for you to hit that subscribe button. It's your way of saying thank you, and a huge thank you, to all my current followers. You're the absolute best. Now that you're part of the community, go ahead and enter this code. Once you've correctly entered the code, highlight and click Go. If you happen to get a connection error or a check link message, it means your connection is being blocked. Just switch on your VPN or change its location, and that should solve the problem. You'll see a small red circle on my screen. You might also see a box. If this box pops up, just move the red circle onto that box and click the center button. 
Otherwise, the platform will load on its own. Let's wait for it to finish. The web page is now loaded. The first thing you'll want to do here is press the menu button on your remote, the one with three horizontal lines. A menu will appear. Scroll down to full screen mode. Click to confirm. Now you have a user-friendly interface. This platform is incredible. You gain access to over 300 exclusive apps. My top apps are always tagged with a top apps badge. It highlights the absolute best apps I recommend. And honestly, if you only install these, you won't need anything else. Now it's truly, truly essential to have a VPN. If you don't, your IP address will be visible right here. If you scroll further, you'll find search and filters. Here you can select any category and only apps from that category will show up. This makes finding apps a breeze. Each app also has its own description. I'll show you how to install my top recommended apps. For this demonstration, go ahead and select the category named Awesome Examples under Search and Filter. Now, scroll down. The first app I want you to grab is IP Vanish. It's marked with the Top App badge at number one. This is my main recommendation for keeping your connection secure and private while using these apps. A lot of people run into download issues because their apps or sources are being blocked. With IP Vanish, you stay protected and everything works smoothly. To download IP Vanish VPN, highlight it and press the center button. This will take you to a new page with the app description and the download button. Scroll to the bottom and press download. Let the download finish and it may take a moment depending on your internet speed. Once it's done, you'll see the installation screen. Just slide over and click the center button on install. Wait for it to complete the installation and after the installation completes, slide over again and click open. Before we continue, we must turn on the VPN. This step is crucial. Now you can log in. Don't have an account yet? Well, I'll make it incredibly simple for you to get one so you can browse without worry and unlock all those fantastic apps. First, grab your phone or computer and open your internet browser. Go to the website on the screen now. You can also point your camera at the QR code in the corner to go right there. I'll also include the website link in the description and comments below. Next, pick your plan. You can even choose just one month to try it out and see the difference for yourself. After you get it, they'll send an email with your unique username and password. Now log in to the IP Vanish app and hit connect. I also want to show a couple of settings. Hit the gear icon on the IP Vanish app. A menu will appear. I've highlighted connect on Android startup and auto connect on IP Vanish launch. If I hit the center button and turn these on, you won't have to worry about manually turning your VPN on every time you power up. The VPN will connect automatically, so you won't have to stop your movie to check if it's on. It'll do it for you. All right, now that we're secure, let's grab some more awesome apps. Press the home button and return to your app list. Click the icon with the three boxes and the plus sign, then open the downloader app again. If you see the old download file appear first, scroll over, click delete, and then scroll over again to confirm delete. Now switch back to full screen mode by pressing the menu button and selecting full screen. If you're still on the VPN page, just press the return button once or twice until you're back at the full app list. Now scroll to the category section and select awesome examples again. Here, I'll show you the next essential apps for free movies, TV shows, sports, and live TV. You'll see three more apps in the awesome examples category. Here's the first one, the app with the top app badge at number two. This one gives you live TV, pay-per-view, adult content, and it is by far my favorite my most recommended app. There is nothing better than this. Move your cursor to it and press the center button. You'll be taken to a page with the app description. Scroll down and click download. The download will begin and we'll wait for it to finish. It may take a moment. And then once it's complete, you'll see the installation screen. Scroll over and click install. Give it a moment to finish. Just wait patiently and when it's done, Scroll over to Done and click Done. Clicking Done brings us back to the screen. Scroll over, click Delete, 
and then scroll over again and click Delete to confirm. This will return us to the store. Next, re-enter full screen mode by pressing the menu button and selecting full screen mode. Then press the return button once or twice and you'll be back on the download page. And again, scroll to the categories section and select awesome examples again. Let's keep going. Here's the next app. This one is for all your sports content. Move your cursor to it and press the center button. You'll land on a page with the app description. Scroll down and click download. The download will start, and again, just wait a moment or two, depending on your internet speed. When it's done, you'll be taken to the installation screen. Scroll over and click Install. Give it a moment to complete. Once it finishes, scroll over and click Done. Next, scroll over, click Delete, and then scroll over again and click Delete to confirm. This takes us back to the store. Once more, switch back into full screen mode and then press the return button once or twice. Last time, scroll to the category section and select Awesome Examples again. And we're back. Now check this out. Here's another app for all your on-demand content. Move your cursor to it and press the center button. You'll arrive on its details page. Scroll down and click Download. The download will begin. And again, this may take a moment or two. So just stay patient. Once it finishes, you'll be taken to the installation screen. Scroll over and click Install. Give it a moment to process. When it's complete, scroll over and click Done. Next, scroll over and click Delete, and then scroll again and click Delete to confirm. And just like that, we're back in the store. Folks, it's that easy. We've installed four amazing apps. There are over 300 available on this platform, so don't feel limited to just these examples. My favorite apps are clearly marked with the Top Apps badge. Explore the store and download as many apps as you wish. They are all free, so grab every single one if your device has the space. But always, always remember to keep your VPN active. Some apps might be blocked otherwise. Now that you've downloaded everything you want, click the Home button. I want to find all those apps we just installed. As you recall from earlier, just click the icon with three squares and a plus sign. This shows all your apps and the newest ones are at the very bottom. So highlight one of those new apps, then click the three line button on your remote. A menu will pop up, click move to front. You'll see the app move from the bottom to the top. Hit the home button here. From your home screen, where you always start, you'll have easy access to those apps. You won't have to go searching at all. How convenient is that? Now, everyone, we've successfully downloaded some truly amazing apps for free movies, TV shows, sports, live TV, and pay-per-view. Folks, I want to express my gratitude to all my followers. Your support means the world to me and helps me so much. I can't thank you enough for taking the time to help me achieve my goals. I look forward to your comments and seeing you very soon in the next video.